In April, Forbes released their world's billionaires list and claiming the title of the richest person in the world, we have Jeff Bezos with a real-time net worth of $198.6 billion. And it's hard to grasp just how much even $1 billion is, but if you were making, say, the federal minimum wage of $7.25, working full-time and you saved every single penny, it will still take you 66,313 years just to save $1 billion. But if you wanted to save up to how much Jeff Bezos has currently, you will need 13,169,761 years. So it's not at all surprising that when Jeff Bezos' space company Blue Origins announced that him and his brother Mark will be going to space on July 20th, a lot of angry people signed a petition to not allow Jeff Bezos to return to Earth because as Rick G so eloquently put it, billionaires should not exist on Earth or in space, but should they decide the latter, they should stay there. Now this video isn't to argue for or against whether billionaires should exist or not, and honestly, Hating the top 10 richest people in the world is pretty easy. So let's talk about someone poor, because today's video is about Peter Thiel, the 574th richest billionaire, and unless you follow business news, you might not even have heard of Peter Thiel. So a bit about his background, he co-founded PayPal and Palantir, it was Facebook's first big outside investor. And you might also remember him as the tech billionaire who bankrolled Hulk Hogan's defense against Gawker for posting Hulk Hogan's sex tape online. But more recently, Peter Thiel is in the spotlight after ProPublica reported that he had accumulated a tax-free $5 billion nest egg in his retirement account that was originally designed to help the middle class save for retirement. Now the specific retirement account Peter Thiel used is called a Roth IRA. In fact, the majority of my stock portfolio is split between my wives and my Roth IRAs. Sadly, my current balance is $41,651.79 and not $5 billion. And the craziest part, Peter Thiel's Roth IRA, he opened it in 1999 with less than $2,000, but somehow it grew into $5 billion, a almost 3 million percent return. So either he's the world's greatest stock picker or he's just another rich person who found a way to game the system by taking advantage of a loophole not available to the rest of us. Also, Forbes, they need to update their list because Peter Thiel, he's not actually the 574th richest person anymore because he's going to be the 230th richest billionaire in the world thanks to his retirement account. So let's dive into the ProPublica article that exposes this whole situation by first giving a rundown of what the heck is a Roth IRA. A bit of a history lesson, in 1997, Senator William Roth Jr. he established a Roth IRA so hardworking middle class Americans were incentivized to save for their retirement. Basically the money you put into a Roth IRA is taxed, but all the compounded gains and the principal is tax free as long as you don't pull out the money before you turn 59 and a half. And here's a loophole that Peter Thiel took advantage of. First, you fund your Roth IRA, and you use that money to buy 1 million shares in a startup company for just one tenth of a penny per share, and that company goes public with a new valuation and a per share price of $50, and congratulations, that 1 million shares that you bought for just $1,000 is now worth $50 million, which you can now use to repeat this cycle continuously. And the best part, because this is all done in a Roth IRA, you don't owe anything to the IRS as long as you leave that money there until you turn 59 and a half. And that's basically how Peter Thiel ended up with a $5 billion Roth IRA. Going a bit deeper, this is PayPal's S1 filing in order to become a public company. On page 96, PayPal, called Confinity back then, sold 5.2 million shares for $0.001 per share to three executives. Peter Thiel, he paid less than $860 for 858,778 shares. And PayPal, they closed today at $292.79. And if he's still holding those original shares, Peter Thiel would have turned that $858.78 into $251,415,847, which is a 292,758% return. And off topic, we have the meme lord Elon Musk himself right here who was able to buy PayPal shares for just over one cent. So you know it's nice to see billionaires looking out for each other.
And going back, the article also exposed other people who used his Roth IRA loophole. Ted Westler, who works for Warren Buffett, has a $264.4 million Roth IRA. His fund manager, Randall Smith, has $252.6 million in his. Another hedgy, Robert Mercer, has $31.5 million. And finally, our favorite rich person in the world, Mr. Warren Buffett, has $20.2 million in his retirement account. And of course, rich people finding ways to avoid paying taxes is nothing new. And it's just a smart thing to do if you really think about it. And while Senator Ron Wyden, uh, the chair of the Senate Finance Committee, said he is planning to propose legislation to crack down on this Roth IRA loophole, I seriously doubt it because rich people, you know, they'll just find another way to do whatever the hell they want. But there you have it. That's how you too can become a tax-free billionaire. So if you want to join the ranks of Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, and Bill Gates, follow their playbook and read these articles that'll tell you, you know, how to hijack a humble retirement account and supercharge it into a tax-free golden egg. But that's all for today. Don't forget to claim your free $30 when you sign up to M1 Finance using the link below. Like and sub if you want to see more videos. And a big thanks to you, my 786 subscribers. I'll catch you next time with more financial shenanigans.